Hello again, my name is Matteo and in this video I want to show you how you can use the simple auth module to refresh your tokens. So we said in the last video that your tokens are bound to expire and that's by design. So that's a good thing. And you want the, your tokens to expire soon enough. Uh, I mean more in the order of minutes than in the order of let's say weeks, right? Um, so how how do you deal with the eventuality that your token has expired without wanting to have the user go after every few minutes go to Drupal, get a new token and generate it and paste it in their configuration page or whatever. So that, that would be very uncomfortable and uh, very awkward. So instead of that, we are going to use the second token that we saw the other day and uh, we're going to use that authentication or refresh token to get a new access token. So uh, to demonstrate that I'm going to create a new pair of tokens and I'm going to make these to expire fairly quickly so it's 35 uh, I'm going to make this expire at 36 alright so uh, just as I said uh, this is expiring, but this one is expiring tomorrow, so we have a one-day window at least. And this is configurable. If you go over here in configuration, people, token auth settings, uh, this is the expiration time, the default that, that, that the token creation page gives you. Uh, for five minutes and this is the refresh extension this extra one day you have while your refresh token is valid after your token has expired so um, yes uh, going back here we can see that this token is probably expired already and we are going to prove that by making a request using this token so let me create a new tab here um, Yep, this is the URL that we're going to use, and we're going to add a header that says authorization, bearer, and we're going to provide the, the token. All right, first I'm going to make the request without the header, so I'm disabling the header here, and you'll see that we get a 401, and if we submit the header, it's going to say change this to a 403 because we have provided credentials but they are not valid because this token is expired. So if I make the request I get a 403. Uh, again that is because the token is expired and now we want to refresh it. So to do that to get a new fresh token we're going to copy the authentication token or the refresh token see here um, and we're going to uh, make a request against a special URL this simple OAuth refresh so this is an old token of a previous test that I made and again I'm going to first make this call without any any header and it's gonna give me a forbidden error and if I provide a token, a valid refresh token, and this URL will only authorize you if you are providing a valid refresh token. If you make that request, since this refresh token is still valid, because this will expire tomorrow, then it will give us a pair of new access and refresh tokens, and it will delete the old ones. So, uh, let's do the call. It's taking a minute. Mm, okay, I have my debugger here. Don't mind this. This, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, it was taking a long time because it, it was stepping uh, through my debugger. Um, but, but yeah, when you make the request, uh, you get uh, the new access token. See how this is different than the old one. We still have the old one here. Is AQ7W while the new one is F26Y uh, yeah and then the refresh token is also different 
So we have our new pairs and it says that it expires in 300 seconds. So you can keep using this for 300 more seconds and then your client code, your front-end application should start detecting after this new token has expired, should detect that instead of getting 200 because it's using a valid token, it will start getting 403s which means that the token is expired. So in that case, your front-end app should be smart enough to say, hey, I'm getting a 403. What I'm gonna do is before I make my next request, I'm gonna use this token, make a request to this URL and get a new access token that I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna continue making requests until I get a 403 again. So that's how you, that's how you can use your uh, authentication token, sorry, the refresh token to get new access tokens and keep going. So uh, that should be it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use the configuration here to create new resources. Uh, we said that we had global and authentication, so we can create our own configured resources that are going to limit what users can do when authorizing with simple OAuth, uh, which is pretty cool because you can limit the, the features that they, they can access. So you could have things like um, this kind of users, this kind of tokens only can affect my REST resources or maybe only my resources that access to nodes but not the ones that access to whatever without having to compromise our permissions configuration. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Ta-da!